numbers have come out this week. Retail sales were down, jobless claims were lower, industrial production was lower, but what drove the market this week was inflation. Hi, this is Mike Wise with your weekly mortgage update. So retail sales came out much worse than expected, showing the consumer was slowing down after that December rush. And year over year, the retail sales, they were only up 2.5%, which is the slowest pace since 2019. The jobless claims, they fell 8,000 to 212,000, showing the job market still resilient. But the continuing claims, those that you know, have already been laid off, those rose 30,000 to 1.895 million. In addition to all of this, the industrial production numbers were much lower than expected, showing weakness in the manufacturing front. But inflation was the big market mover this week. On Tuesday, the consumer price index showed that overall inflation rose 0.3% for the month, which was a tenth hotter than the estimates. And year over year, inflation decreased from 3.4% to 3.1%, but the market, they were expecting it to be at 3% or even 2.9%. So after this, mortgage rates climbed. And then on Friday, the bond yields, they jumped even further with the hotter than expected producer price index. Uh, the final demand, it increased 0.3% in December, exceeding those forecasts. And the so-called core PP, uh, PPI, producer price index, which excludes the food and energy, it climbed 0.5% from uh, the prior month and 2% from a year ago. Both of those topping expectations driving the interest rates higher. So what does this mean for mortgage rates? Well, the yield on the 10-year treasury has increased from 4.7% on Monday to 4.3% as I record this. And 4.3% is the highest level since December 1st of last year. And you remember where mortgage rates were in December of last year, we've climbed over 7% and it looks like the Fed, well, they're gearing towards a June or July rate cut. In the meantime, I think mortgage rates are gonna fluctuate between six and three quarters and seven and a quarter, maybe even seven and a half percent. So this is another great time to introduce our list and lock. And now we've added save. So it's list and lock and save program. And so what this does, it works like this. If you have a seller that's going to list their home, they can choose upfront on how much they want to contribute in seller concessions lock in an interest rate with CMG on our website, and CMG is gonna kick in another 1% to buy down the rate even further. So I'm seeing rates in the high fives with 2% or more in seller concessions. So that seller, they lock in that interest rate, they market that on their property, on their listing, and if the buyer uses us, then we can give them that low interest rate with that bought down uh, rate. In addition to that, we're giving the seller an additional half a percent up to $5,000 if they use CMG on their next purchase. So in, you get the low interest rates on the sale, marketing their house so with a lower interest rate, making it more attractive to buyers on their departing residence, and then the seller on their new purchase, we give them an additional $5,000 thousand dollars up to five thousand dollars on their new purchase this is mike wise i will be around this weekend give me a call if you have any questions have a great one